people. It's I, Oliver, and I'm ready to continue my journey in Return of the Obra Dinn. Now, it's been 44 hours and 48 minutes ago. <laughs> I really like this uh, feature where you get to see how far or how much you've actually played. I really like that. Um, so yeah, I had a bit of a break, uh, lots of work to do, but I'm back. I took a quick look at the last recording I did, meaning the last video you watched before this. And I had a pretty big facepalm moment at one point. Because I was just quickly reminding myself what I did. And I was looking through the ship manifest, looking for two people with the same last name. And I think I may have cracked it during just rewatching a little bit of that video. Uh, at least when it comes to this Danish person and the person who killed him. So, that is the first thing I'm going to do. I will, uh, where was I? Here. I wanted to find out exactly what happened up here. This is Lars Linne. <laughs> I love saying that. Let me open that memory. I tried to point at the people I thought were speaking. Also, cheers. I'm so goddamn excited to play more of this game and listen to this soundtrack because it slaps hard. So what I was noticing when I was just looking at the video. Can I? Oh, there we go. What I noticed was there are actually people with the same last name, Peters. And funnily enough, um, I even said it out loud at one point. I said the word Peters twice and I still didn't get it at the time. So this person right here is either Samuel Peters or whatever the other guy's name is. Um, I don't know. Let me try and put him on as Samuel Peters. How do I do that? I go like this and go like that. Click on him. Samuel Peters. Met an unknown fate. Yeah, I don't know how he died. Maybe he didn't. But this will allow me to also fill this guy out. Lars Linne, he was then killed by either Samuel, so this is, I can try both, I guess. There are two options here. Either Samuel or Nathan. So I don't know which one of these it is. I'm going to go with uh, Samuel for now. It makes sense. He looks like a seaman. That's also what I deduced last time. Uh, like he has no shirt on, you know, he looks like a rough and, rough and tumble type of guy. And he has like a simple club to hit people with over the head. Very, very simple. This guy had books, which I think is important somehow. I mentioned that I think this guy may be Henry Evans. But the problem with that theory is that Henry Evans gave me this book that I have right now that I'm filling out. And the book contains sketches from Edward Spratt. So he must have acquired those sketches somehow. Maybe he was a friend of Edward Spratt. I mean, he likes to write and Edward likes to draw. Maybe they found some common ground there, you know, similar interests. Um, did I put him down as anything? Let me see. Unknown soul. Let me try and put him down as Henry Evans for now. Oh, right. Henry, Henry Evans was the, was the surgeon. Okay, let me not put anything down yet because I'm not sure. I want to leave this memory. I want to try to explore the surgeon's quarters, if that's the thing. If I even am allowed to go there yet. I know there is a place on the ship. The ship. 
We have the gun deck. Stewards. Surge. Okay, I don't think I've been down here, actually. No. This is like uh, unexplored territory for me. Bosun mate. Bosun fourth mate. Yeah, I'm so happy I got all the officers down. That was nice. So what is the next thing to do here? Hmm. I wanted to take a look downstairs again. Because another thing I noticed in the very last part of the last episode was these numbers on the hammocks. Was it here or was it further down? There was a point where... This is the guy that got crushed by the beast while he was taking a good old shit. Maybe the hammocks are just gone now. Oh look, I think they were hanging here. These are the nails. But there were numbers on them and I had a theory that they might correspond to the number in the crew manifest. But then again, that would imply that everyone had a number, and I know that not everyone had a hammock. For example, the captain, he had his own quarters, right? And some of the officers had their own rooms. So, not sure about that one yet. That was a special article of clothing that I assigned to someone. Let me see. Life at sketch? Life at sea sketch? Uh, Somewhere... Here. Third mate steward. Oh, I already got that one. Okay, cool. Very good, very good. So, wh whose place is this? Let me look at the map. Uh, here. This is first mate. First mate's quarters. He has books. Did I guess the first mate? First mate. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me not focus on him then. What was this place? These were all the officer's quarters, no? We had second mate, fourth mate, first mate, third mate. Did I get all of them? I actually did not really look... No. Okay. So I don't know the fates of the Edward Nichols and Martin Perrault. Let me see. Martin? Oh wait, did I, did I get him? Why is he... Um, why is he typeset up there? I don't understand. Edward Nichols? Am I being really dumb here? No, I can definitely choose new names for them. Oh, maybe it's just because when I do it from this screen, I can only determine the fate. So Martin Perot. Uh, let me see him. Memories. He has two triangles, so maybe I should wait with him. This guy has one triangle. I can try this guy. Let's see. We have three memories. First memory is on the cargo deck, part one of murder. Okay. This is the point where Nuncio Pasqua was knifed by Edward Nichols. But I don't know what happened to Edward Nichols. That's the problem. The corpse was moved post-mortem. Yeah. They had him up. Uh, they hung him up. Wait, what? So maybe he was dead? When they hung him up and shot him? Not sure. Oh, wait, never mind. I'm mixing two people up here. Uh, it was Hoxing Lao that they hung up. This was the guy that... Nichols beat unconscious, who was guarding the door with the jewel inside, or whatever that shiny object was. Uh, shell. The seashell. Very valuable seashell. 
Okay, I'm just being reminded here of what I did. This game uh, really does reward long play sessions and not like uh, sporadic play sessions, which unfortunately is the only way I can play this game right now uh, due to my situation in life. So yeah, there's got to be times when I'm just trying to catch up on what I did last time. And obviously I'm going to miss threats because of that. And I'm sorry. It is what it is. But I'm having so much fun with this game. I do want to play it. I want to play it. I, I've been thinking about it so much actually. Such a cool experience so far. Um, what place is this? There's also books in here. I'm trying to notice who could have taken those books. I'm not in a memory right now. Maybe I should be in a memory. Let me go click on this again. Oh right, I can't go downstairs here. Okay, I had an idea just now. Apparently, the uh, the brother of Samuel or the other guy's name, Samuel Peters, was killed in the rigging. He fell down or something? Hmm. And it seemed to be an accident. One of the guys saw it. So maybe I can just randomly guess that, so to, so to speak. What if I go down and I say... Uh, where is he? We've got Nathan Peters. What if I say... Wait. Where's Nathan Peters? I don't get it. Hold on. Samuel Peters? So Samuel Peters... Oh wait, I can just identify him. I'm so stupid. Hold on. I can just do this. That is Samuel. Oh wait. So that's that guy on the left. Obviously he was alive, so he's okay, so I actually don't know. Let me try and just say he was I don't know how he died though in the sails or in the rigging. Strangled maybe? Maybe he got strangled by the rigging. That could be a thing. No? I probably have to go. Oh, strangled implies a person has to do it. Okay, so that's not it. Suicide. Noose. No. Um, let's say he fell. Rigging. So I don't know how many I have actually guessed right now, because these are valu validated in sets of three. So maybe it's not Samuel Peters. Let me try the other guy. Let me say, instead of Samuel Peters, I'm going to go ahead and say Nathan Peters. Na Nathan. Hold on. Where did he go? There. Dude, sometimes these menus are confusing me. Fuck, wait a minute, I don't know who, uh, shit. Oh, wait, I haven't found him yet. Can I not just give him a fade anyway? Maybe I can't. Shit. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna keep this in mind. In fact, I'm going to write down, I'm going to write Samuel slash Nathan Peters uh, died in rigging somehow. Maybe he just fell from the rigging actually. And his brother thought that the Dane pushed him, which means the Dane is also a seaman, but I think I guessed that one anyway.
Unless it was the Dane who killed him. We don't know that, you know? Maybe it could be. So, part two of the Doom. That was part one just now. I'm pretty sure that was Doom. Let's look at part two. This is over here. That's the next part. This is nasty. I don't want to listen to it. The guy's getting squished. Ugh. Also, it is occurring to me, this guy looks a little Asian. This guy does not. Oh man, that's horrible. Okay, what's happening upstairs now? They investigate what just happened. The people were escaping. This is Lars Linne. Who are you? John Davies, that one I got. And that was his follower. Davy James. Met an un... Oh, his steward, sorry. Uh, he met an unknown fate. Do I know anything about him? Disappeared in escape. I mean, I could try to guess. Maybe he was alive on the Canary Islands? Or... Okay, Verdi... When did the escape happen? That was like late, right? That was part 9. So they were... It was a little... Let me look at the map. Uh, give me the map here. The end. Escape. So where would he go? Madeira or Azores? Let's say alive. Azores, maybe? Atlantic Island? East Indies. Uh, who knows, honestly. That is my guess for now. Hold on. I'm noticing these pants. Is this the pants of a... of a top man? I seem to remember the ninja wearing those. Oh, look at this. You can even see the beast grabbing the front of the ship at this point in time. Okay. Let's go down. Let's explore everything here. This is during the night. Some people were just escaping and they found the, the body upstairs. People were still sleeping, look. Now, can I identify any of these people sleeping? Hmm. I think I tried all these. Maybe I have to see their entire body. I'm not sure. Also, I'm getting the sense that this sword is significant. What does it say? I cannot read that at all. It's so small and very grainy. Or stippled, I should technically say. So wait a minute, I have a theory here. Let's say... Okay, listen. Upstairs on the deck, during the escape, Paul Moss was stabbed with a sword. I mean, there are probably many swords on this boat, but for gameplay reasons, I'm gonna assume maybe it was this one. If that's the case, and I'm right about 36, hold on. This is a complete crapshoot. But I enjoy doing these complete crapshoots. This is what I love about these games. So, uh, <laughs> I love doing this shit. Um, Lars Lin, where are you at? No, not Lars Lin, uh, Paul Moss. Paul Moss, there. Killed by sword by an unknown. Let me say he was killed by number 36, whoever that is. No, that doesn't make any sense. 
He's from Persia. Oh! That actually makes sense. It's a scimitar! Shit! I don't think he was killed by a scimitar, was he? I don't have any memory of that. Of that being a scimitar. Oh wait, let me just try it. Anyway. 36... Maybe it was a scimitar and I'm completely remembering wrong. I just don't seem to remember he was a uh, Persian looking at all. Like, how come I cannot change his name up here? Is that because I, I got it right in some other way and that is typeset? So it's like, it's confirmed this guy is Paul Moss, no matter what. I mean, yeah. No, I don't think it's this guy. I'm gonna go back and put in unknown. Unknown attacker. Damn it. Damn it all. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe there's a clue here. But this one is empty. Hold on. Uh, hold your horses. This is empty. This is empty. This is empty. Omid Gul. Was that his name? Omid Gul. He was... I'm pretty sure he's upstairs right now, which would make sense. This one is empty. So, okay, let me write this down. Hold on. 48, 49, 36. So we have Omid Gul. Now we have 48, 49. I mean, assuming this is... It has to be, right? What else could these numbers mean? Nathan Peters. That has to mean Nathan Peters is upstairs then, right? Maybe. Uh, Nathan Peters and 49. Lars Linne. That makes sense. That makes sense. They're both upstairs. Or Lars Linne is dead at this point, but... Let me say he was clubbed by... Hold on. So if... Hmm. Let me see if there's more. These are both full. This one is occupied. This one is missing completely. This one is missing. 57. Who are you? Alexander Booth. Alexander Booth. Also, this is uh, Doom Part 2. Part 2. What we got over here? I don't understand this X. Can I assume these people are sleeping in these two? That is 41. Hold on, can I just assume you're number 41? He looks for Mosin, doesn't he? Hold on, we have... Uh, we have one, two, one, two, then we have a dead guy downstairs, that's three, four. So this guy cannot be, this guy is not Asian. There's only four for most people on the boat, as far as I know. Forty one. Let me just try and put him down as forty one. Wei Li. That makes hmm. A Chinese top man. That he does look a little Asian. Okay, that has to be right then. 
Like, what are the chances otherwise, right? He's sitting here, and this happens to be a Chinese topman. So, is there a number attached to this? It's attached to the thing itself. Okay. Who are you? I don't know who you are. This one makes total sense. 36 being uh, Omid Gul. 4849, that's Lars Linne and Nathan Peters. Okay. Let me just go upstairs again. This is Omid Gul. That's Lars Linne. Alrighty. Alrighty. Dude, I'm having so much fun with this game. I know there's a bunch of chapters I haven't even explored yet, but I'm just having so much fun trying to decipher things from here. Hmm. I don't want this game to end. I want it to last forever. Ah. Six. Okay. I want to see the sketch here again. So, okay. What are so what are midshipmen? Let me just remind myself of that. Glossary. Midshipmen, officer in training, assists various officers and tradesmen in order to learn ship operations. Usually of privileged status. Okay. And this over here. Wait. Uh, where am I? Ship. Oh, I can't actually go there in this memory. Damn it. Okay, well, over here is the midshipman cabin. All right, I think that's it for this uh, memory here. Let me leave. And then I want to find part three. That's when all hell breaks loose. This guy standing right here hurt the whole thing. Where did he go after that, I wonder? First off. Where do I start part three? He was the guy crushed. Got it. So is this guy. Oh. Hold on. Great idea emerged right now. So these two, they ran over here to help. They, 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 maybe this guy called out, you know, who was standing over here. That's a fucking uh, monster. Woke everyone up. That's the ninja. That's Nathan. No, that's uh, Brennan. Wait, where did the two people go over here? They were sitting right here. <gasps> this is one of them. He was the guy sitting on the... Oh, he was the guy sitting on the right, the one that didn't have a number of... Shit. This is the gunner. Where did people go during this? That is the question. Also, is someone sleeping through this? <laughs> I don't think so. Did I get this guy right? Charles Miner? 
Still not. Wait a minute, who's this? What? Could I, could I maybe imagine that he's 45? Because he's right next to it? A shot with a gun? Perished. When? Oh! Fuck! This is vertical striped shirt guy. This guy is important. I need to identify him. Let's say this is uh, 45. Let's just assume. Uh, 45. Leonid Volkov. That could make sense. I mean, it does say top man, but he does have his shirt on. Oh yeah, maybe that makes sense, because it seems like the seamen didn't have their shirt on. Which means this guy probably was a seaman, but then again, I had reason to believe at some point that he was the bosun's mate. Unless... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, bop, 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 bop. What is Sierra, Sierra Leona? I don't know that place. Again, my geography is bad. Very bad. Another thing is... I was trying to look for the sword. See where it went, but I forgot where it was. Did I put him down as Leonid Volkov? I did. Okay, let me just put say that for now. Because this guy, I believe, is the bosun's mate. And he came from somewhere down there. This guy is... Also unknown. Could also be him, actually. Let me try just... This unknown soul is clubbed. You know, let me try and put him down as... Leonid Volkov. Just to see. No. Uh, wait for the clues. Unknown. For now. I don't know who the ninja is. I believe this is Leonid Volkov. But the thing is, it's complete chaos here, so it doesn't really mean that just because they're next to the bed they were sleeping in, that that's the person. An unknown guy. Well, he didn't... Is this where he died right now, though? It must be. Let me say he got... I can't believe I didn't do this. He was crushed by a cannon. Where else did I see him? Memories? Perished in the Doom Part 3. That's where I am now. First memory. Doom Part 2. Hold on. I'm going back to Doom Part 2 right now. I want to see where he is. During that. Maybe he was just sleeping. Part 2 is activated down here. The kitchen. I don't want to hear the pooping. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> so he was crushed here, right? 56. Could, have, could it have been him? Unless, am I looking at the wrong side? No, wait. Hold on. I, I don't remember if it was here. I should put a uh, bookmark on him, actually.
Wait a minute, who's this? Part three. Location of the corpse. Okay, so it's right in front of me. Could it be this guy? 56? Hold on a second. Where's 56? Okay, we also have more missing here, see? Are those the people I already identified, maybe? Maybe that's what it is. Could be 57 then. Alexander Booth. Not sure. Alrighty. Um, no, wait a minute. This right here, this area right here is where Or was it down here? Ah, oh, shit, I can't remember. I'm trying to remember where exactly Charles Mino was. Was he here? Or was he here? You know, like, here? X. I don't know what that means. 10? But why not just write 10? That makes no sense to me. So he was right here. There's no number on this? There is. 43. 44. So one of these is Charles Minor. 43, 44. Maybe I'm going way too deep on these numbers here, but they have to mean they're significant, right? They'll have to be. 43, 44. Maba, Maba? And Lewis Walker. What about Charles Minor? Charles Minor. Boson's mate. Number seven. Hold on. Stupid question now, but... Ah, oh, I can't go that way. Hmm. Okay. I'm getting a little frustrated here, not... ...understanding this. Okay, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and get more clues. I wanna see if I can reveal some more... ...memories. But I don't know where to go for that. Let's just take a look around. Where have I not been? I cannot go in there. Can I go further down? Not yet. Who's this? Roderick Anderson. He was crushed by a cannon. Wait a minute. There were two people here. One of them got crushed. Crushed by a loose cannon. I mean, I put him down as Alexander Booth, but I'm not sure about that. And we have Christian Wolf. He was shot with a cannon by the beast. So, part four. Let's go to part four. Oh, wait, a, hold on a second. Wait! I can't believe I didn't check this shit out. What? 
I missed this completely. Hold on. Where am I now? Orlop deck. Bunch of blood down here. Look at a memory here? Something broke out. They stored animals down here. What the fuck? Pets are here. One swing. Get through the skull and stone her brain. I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah. Come on before she kicks off. <laughs> you all right there, sir? <laughs> Never been on a farm, John. Find your shoes now. This is Charlie. I recognize him. Yep. I've seen this guy before, I feel like. Or maybe they all look the same. They all look alike here. So they... That's where the skull came from, I get it. They had a cow down here. Who are you? You will also recognize. Look, these all look the same. Am I crazy? Oh! He was the guy exploded. Wait. Okay. And we have this guy. That has to be the butcher. I was I had it wrong the first time I tried this. Damn it. Surgeons made butcher. And we have this guy. Hmm. I feel like these may be midshipmen because they were assisting uh, traders. Also, Carpenter was mentioned. What was that again? I mean, I know what it is in today's day, but what does it mean here? Wasn't he the guy who took care of all the yeah integrity of the ship's wooden structures? Interesting. So this is Charles. Charlie? Do we have a Charles? Charlie? Charles Hirschdick. Midshipman! I knew it! Let's put him down as that. He was the guy who couldn't hold his liquor, so to speak. Oh, I love this. More memories. A bitter cold. Okay. Location of the corpse. A large cow was slaughtered for its meat. Take him to the carpenters. Get him wrapped and see to the last rites? Why would you take him to the carpenters? Wouldn't you take him to a butcher? The last rites? Is this like a religious thing where... Hit her here one swing, get through the skull and stun her I'll cut her throat when you've done it. Here? Yeah, come on, before she kicks up. You're right there, sir. I've been on a farm, Charlie. Mind your shoes now. Okay. Oh. Fucking love this game. What's happening here? Oh. 
What's going on here? What are you guys up to? Who are you? So you died. Well, same as the other fellow. Some lung disease, lung consumption. Made worse by the cold. Will it spread? If so, we'd all have it. They must have picked it up at the Alaska house. I checked all hands just now, and everyone is healthy. And him? <coughs> what are his chances? I gave him some laudanum. We'll see. <coughs> hmm. So he died, huh? From disease. This guy recognize. Margin Perot. This has to be Henry Evans? Surgeon? I mean, they don't, it doesn't have to be a surgeon, I guess. Okay. You? No, I don't want to try and name him. He is the surgeon, I think. Look, I was mistaking one of them for a butcher, but I think it's just the surgeon outfit. Maybe because of the blood? Like, look, these are all vials of probably... Surgeon things? <laughs> Is he holding anything? No. I think this is Henry Evans. I think they died. I mean, I know they died. From disease, illness. Oh, we've got more. Oh. Uh, how do I get out of here? Oh. Oh. Right. What's this now? So another... Th oh, look at this. They were guarding this. I think I'm also... Thinking about here is... No, this is the exact same time, right? Yeah, uh, sorry. Nothing I say makes sense to you because it's all happening in my mind, but don't worry about it. Let's see what happens. Guide me. Should be right here. Man, someone... Is this the cow blood? That would be very unhealthy and very unsavory thing to do. I think it's human blood. What the hell? Did he also die to disease? He said, same as that other fellow. Good <laughs> feel. Fifty-four. X. Who are you? Oh, wait a minute. X. Okay, uh, let me try. 
What is 10? Winston Smith? I don't think he's the carpenter. Carpenter wouldn't sleep in this, right? He has a more important job. I don't know what X means. Captain? No, not captain, but like... Maybe the guy in charge around of all the seamen, of all the... I love the music. It's during the night as well. So is this Syed, 54? I mean, it looks like he's uh, smoking hookah there. And again, this guy. So one of them was speaking Russian. How many Russians do we have? I think it was Russian at least. I don't actually know. Let's take a look. Rush. Okay, we've got a bunch. Toporov, Seaman, Seaman. Scotland. Okay. I think this guy here must be Syed. You're trying to get him to drink something, no? Okay. I mean, he doesn't look... Uh... He looks Russian, this guy. Stop your cheating? Wait a minute. Stop your cheating. Worry about yourself. Sigh it. Sigh it, get up. Drink something. Maybe it's the same guy. Maybe the Russian is talking to these two. Saying, stop your cheating. Stop pretending to be sick, maybe. And he's like, don't help him. Worry about yourself. I'm going to say this is Syed. Uh, where do we have him? Top man, seaman. Wait a minute. Oh, here, Solomon. India. Maybe he did die from disease. It's come to a tragic illness. Looks like these all stuck together. Who were you? Hmm. Fifty four. That makes total sense. It has to mean that then. It's confirmed. You. Are number 51. 51. Renfred Rajub. Succumbed to tragic illness. He's the guy in the memory on the other. In the other one, right? So this could be, since we, just by elimination here, one of these two. Maybe this guy. Actually, I shouldn't put down names I'm not sure about. It'll just confuse me later. That's a bad habit. Got a Russian here. Do we have any clues? People playing cards.
Hello. Leonid Volkov was shot with a gun by an unknown attacker. Hold on. Really? Eight memories, wow. Perished in Escape Part 3? Where? <gasps> he was shot by a woman. I remember that. Let me say... It was a passenger. Not Abigail. One of these two. Emily Jackson? Oh, that was... There we go. That was a pure guess. What's the next? Yeah, that was... That one was easy. Okay, we got both illnesses down. Fantastic. So this has to mean... That I'm getting Charles Minor wrong. I, he would have been part of these three fates by now then. Okay. Who are you? Another seaman, presumably? Seamen stick together? Okay. 47. What is 47? Alexei Toborov, Russia. So hold on, if one of these is Russian, then this guy over here cannot be Alexei Toborov. So maybe he is... Uh, Rush... What do we have, Russia? Alarkus Nikishin. I'm gonna say. He was speaking uh, Russian, it seems. Are there any other languages that could be... Uh, because I can't read that those letters. So I have no clue. Ireland, India, Wales, no. Okay. I think this is... Uh, yeah. Yep. Who looks the most Russian of these three? I don't even know how to... I mean... <laughs> What does a Russian look like? It's a bit hard to know. But this guy's sitting here playing cards. With this guy. And he's down here. So I'm guessing this is actually... Because you wouldn't play cards with someone you didn't... You couldn't speak to, right? Maybe they don't speak each other's language. I think this is a Russian. I think this is... Uh, oops. I think this is Alexei Toborov. Okay. Okay, good so far. So far, so good. Where are we actually right now? The illness part... Hold on. No, back, like that. Can I please just see... What part I'm in right now? How is... Is there no way to just see what part I'm looking at right now? Illness. No, sorry. Bitter cold. There's one, two, three. There's three parts to that. A large cow was slaughtered for its meat. Renfred Rajub succumbed to tragic illness. Okay, so I solved this part, actually. I solved this part. Thirty-six. Just looking around. Hold on, I just had a genius thought. Look at this. He has a tattoo of a woman. This is number 37. Check this out. I saw something in a sketch. 37. 
Timothy Budemong, Scotland. Okay. Check this out. Check this shit out. I'm gonna show you a picture here. See these two dancing? I think this is Budemong. And this is that woman he has depicted. They're dancing together. Can I maybe even see a tattoo? That would be the icing on the cake here. Probably not. Let's go Budemong. Budemong? Timothy Budemong. Now it would make extra sense if this was also from Scotland. Because he probably met there. Wait a minute. Passenger? England. So I don't know which one of these two it is, though. Uh, maybe Emily Jackson. I'm not sure. Thirty-seven, huh? Is anything going on over here? Got a leg sticking out. Forty. Forty-one. Thirty-nine. Fifty-nine. I'm trying to pay attention to the shoes as well. Maybe there's some kind of clue in there somewhere, somehow. So these two were sick. They died. Okay. All right, let me try and explore some more. Come on, you're gonna count the, the cow as a death? Really? Okay. Alrighty then. Well, well, well. This is the place where one of them died. This has to be Henry Evans' uh, office. Or you wouldn't say office, would you? You would say... I don't know what you would say, actually. Hmm. This is a... place to put a clue. If I saw one. Okay, well... In the next episode, I will explore some more memories. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Goodbye.